I'd like to say a big hello to our friends uh, from Australia and New Zealand. My name is Mondem Dingi uh, from Cape Town, Bugletu. I'm a product of the Zeka High School. I went to study music at the University of Cape Town. I started as a, as a choir director for the school choir. Little did I know that I would find myself being of support to tutors and the alumni of the, of the program. I've never actually belonged to a team before. Here we are seven, so it has been a very interesting journey which I'm enjoying and I've grown enormously. We are an after-school program. We align ourselves with the South African curriculum. We are in the business of changing the lives of these young people. We always try to find innovative ways of assisting the learners to assimilate that which is being taught in the classroom. Our tutors are mostly university students. So for them, it's really an opportunity to kind of plow back. When we see our tutors in action, it's a humbling moment even for the tutors when they see the positive impact of their intervention uh, to these young people. We empower the tutors, find out what their challenges are, where can we be of support, how receptive are the learners. We are also planning to intensify the training itself so that tutors can be equipped with a full basket of different ways of transferring knowledge. We want to create critical thinkers, people that are good problem solvers. But also in terms of the program itself, absolutely there is a vibrancy. You play, but you learn at the same time. <laughs> um, you know, our kids come from underprivileged communities. When learners exit from our program, not all of them make it to university. Not all of them find jobs. That is what gave birth to the alumni program. Is it an issue of the results from the metric or is it that they cannot afford to go to university so I then make it my business to, to be in touch with those specific learners to ensure that if we have to refer them some way, we will do so. We are definitely doing something right as an organization. The grade 12s only accommodated eight learners, six learners. Of those eight, six were in the top six in the entire grade 12 of FESEC. That was just phenomenal. We are on the right track. I, I mean, I could go, I could go on and on about these proud moments. <laughs> Currently, we are running our programs from within the various schools that are our partners. Uh, we've got Vezeka, we've got Museki, we've got Belleville South High and Belleville South Primary. And of course, we've got the center called Nobantu, Women for Peace in Mfule. But this presents challenges. We are told from time to time that we, we cannot access certain resources for valid reasons. If we had our own hub, we would be able to extend the program to even more schools. So we are in dear need and we would absolutely love to have our own space as Education Without Borders. We are able to change their lives in such an enormous way, in such a short space of time. We need to be unapologetic, we need to shout it out to the world. I wish to thank you in advance for any support that uh, you might consider. Best of wishes towards the film festival. This is coming from myself and the entire EWB team. And last but not least, our wonderful learners. A big thank you.